So I'm going to go to task 5, variable timer. Now this time there isn't a starting program, so you need to load your completed program from number 4. Then in Scratch we're going to then go File, Save As, and you're going to rename the file and call it 05 Variable Timer so that we're ready for this one. So inside the program, you need to make sure that you clicked on the stage. And then we're going to create a new variable. So we're going to go from the stage, I'm going to go up to Variables, make a variable, and we're going to call this one Time. So that will put this icon on your stage. If you double click it, and again, it will just make it a little bit smaller so we can just see the number. And then we get these extra controls here. So to begin with, we need to get this one built on the stage. So we're saying when the flag is clicked, first thing we want to do is we're going to set the time to zero. Then we're going to use a forever loop, change the time, but we're going to wait one second. So if we wait one second before we change it, it's going to go and count in seconds. So we want our forever loop. Back to the variables. We're going to change the time by one, but so that it doesn't go through it really quickly. Let's just have a quick look at that. Look, you can see it's just whizzing through those. What we do is we put a wait one second inside the forever loop just before that. So let's try that again. So now our timer should be going up every second. So test that your program's doing that, save it, and then come back to the video. So now we're going to build this program. So this is the one now. When the time is greater than 30, we're going to stop all programs running. So it stops everything. We're going to put a one second wait in just so that when this other program resets the time, it's got time to do it. So on this one then, let's go to when the flag is clicked. Okay, so we're going to wait and we're going to use a forever if loop. So I'll wait one second. We're going to use a forever if. Now inside the condition of the forever if, we need to go to operators. We're going to get this one with the greater than symbol. I'm going to go back to variables. We're going to get time and drop it in there. And then we're going to put this one at 30. So once the time is bigger than 30, greater than 30, back to control and we're going to say stop all. So you need to test that and make sure that after 30 seconds everything else stops. And then save your program. So at that point, pause it, get caught up to there and then come back. Right, so now we're going to alter the timer so that instead of starting at zero and counting up, it starts at 30 seconds and counts down. So you're going to be wanting to change this program here. Test it. Okay, so you may find it will continue to go past zero. So it'll go to minus one, minus two, and so on. So that's why now we're going to change the second program here. And what we want is when the time is less than one, it stops everything. So you're going to run your program a few times. Have a look at the timer. Does it always spread to everyone within 30 seconds? Or are there occasions where we've still got some green, uninfected people on there?